In the second uh, video of um, authenticating a web service, we'll talk about um, Auth 2.0 authentication. In my previous video, I talked about uh, basic authentication where um, uh, the user will be challenged with the username and a password. In Auth 2 authentication, it is more of a B2B type of a setup where um, it is mainly two servers talking to each other. And it is more of an authorization uh, compared to an authentication process wherein um, we, we take a web service and protect it using um, Auth to authentication um, authorization process. Let's um, walk through the steps um, and also cover some of the things what we covered in your first video, wherein we talked about creating a role. Let me go in and show you the role which have been created. The name of the role is called demo group. And um, let's go into the privilege and the name of the privilege is called uh, demo department pre. So we are here, we are associating the, we created a privilege and we added a demo group to this privilege and uh, also selected the module to be protected as DPT. Then applied the changes. So wherein we created the role, we created the privilege and uh, when we created the privilege, we assigned the ORDS role and also selected the protected module. This we did it in our uh, video one uh, about um, authentication. Now let's go ahead and um, create the client ID. For that, we need to go to the SQL workshop, SQL command. Then um, I have already prepared um, this PL SQL block. Let me copy that. Uh, the name of my client is client name is HR and we are using um, client credential as the grant type. Then um, we had to give the supporting email and we are giving the name of the privilege what we just explained that is called demo underscore dpt underscore brief. So having said that, let's run this particular block. Okay, that statement got successfully executed. Our next step will be to grant the role uh, the name of the role was demo underscore group. So to the client name HR, we will grant the role demo group. Okay, name of the is the same uh, client name. What we did it in our um, step one process, then we granted the role. Let's run this command. With this, we granted the role. Now, our next step will be to query the or data dictionary view, wherein we will get to know the client ID. So our, in our example, the client ID we selected as HR. Then um, we see this will create an encrypted um, ID and a client secret. We need, we need to pass it on this to the, um, to the application which will be using our uh, web service. So we have a postman software wherein we will try to access the services what we have created. Let me walk through the steps. We will um, provide the URL what we need to, um, we just created the web service then go into the authorization, authorization and select OAuth 2.0. And when we do that, it will ask you to first specify the client ID and the client secret. So whatever we had um, created, the client ID and the secret, we need to specify those two things and we need to get, give the access token URL. Uh, select the grant type as client credential, you can give any name for the token name. If you specify the access code URL, the client ID and the client secret, it will then request for the token. This will go to the, our system and it will get back to you a access token. Let's use this access token. Yeah. With the, by using this access token, now let's get this web service. So you see that it returned back. Oh yeah. 
the content in JSON format. So let me walk through the step. The first step, what we did was we went to uh, SQL Workshop, then we created the, the client ID uh, wherein we specified the privilege and we granted the role. Then we selected this user arts underscore clients and we got the client ID and the client secret. With this, we used the software to test this particular thing using post time wherein we went and specified the web service URL then selected the authorization and we took it as auth 2.0 and we went into the get token we gave the token URL which is nothing but your base URL then we need to append oauth slash token then specify the client ID and the client secret a request for the token so once you have the, the the server gives back you the token with the expiration time use that token and send the request after you after the system authorizes you then it will get you the json as your response Thanks again. Uh, so we in our part one video, we talked about basic authentication. In our second video, we are talking about authentication using OAuth 2.0.